Hi there, I'm Emily Mielstein with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, and this is a public hearing video on Reef Fish Amendment 54, which considers modifying greater amberjack catch limits and allocations. We're here because the most recent stock assessment for greater amberjack, which was CDAR 70, resulted in some updated catch advice that greatly reduces the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch. The assessment also determined that the stock is both overfished and experiencing overfishing. And this is the sixth time that that determination has been made since 2000. And that comes despite the fact that council has made management measures to constrain catch and to reduce fishing mortality on juveniles. The assessment also converts to using the new recreational landings estimates, which are called MRIP FES. It shows that those recreational landings are greater than previously thought, and this impacts both our allocation decisions and our catch levels. So the council is obligated to end overfishing, and catch limits have to be reduced to meet the current 2027 rebuilding goal. The Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee recommended a significant decrease in both the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch. Additionally, those changes to the Recreational Data Collection Program have to be addressed. Catch limits need to be updated to the new data currency, which is in MRIP FES, and allocations between commercial and recreational sectors can be reconsidered to make sure that they are aligned with those new estimates of recreational harvest. So there's two actions being considered in this document. The first looks at modifying sector allocations, the overfishing limit, the acceptable biological catch, and annual catch limits. The second action considers modifying annual catch targets. So we'll start with action one. Results of the latest stock assessment prompted the Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee to reduce the overfishing limit and the acceptable biological catch. This was done to make sure that we meet the 2027 rebuilding timeline and end overfishing of the greater amberjack stock. So the Council now can set the annual catch limit either equal to or below the acceptable biological catch. And since our current catch limits are set using the old recreational landings estimates from the MRIP CHTS program, the council needs to update catch limits so that they're in our new data currency, which is that MRIP FES. Additionally, the new stock assessment used the new recreational catch estimates from MRIP FES, which indicated that historical recreational catch and effort were greater than we previously thought. Our current allocations are set using an even older recreational data collection program called MRFs. And the council is considering adjusting allocations to ensure that they're aligned with the best scientific information available. It's important to note that the allocations that are selected affect the total allowable harvest because the discard rates and the average size of harvest varies by sector. So alternative one is our no action alternative. That would maintain the current 73% recreational, 27% commercial allocation, and that is derived from average landings using that old MRFs data from the years 1981 through 2004. This would maintain our current overfishing limit, acceptable biological catch, and annual catch limits, and it would maintain the recreational sector annual catch limit in MRIP CHTS units, so those old units. Now please note that this is not a legally viable alternative because it's not based on the best scientific information available, and it would retain catch limits that are higher than those that are recommended by our Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee. Alternative two would maintain the current 73% recreational and 27% commercial sector allocations, but it would revise the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch as recommended by the Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee, and it would set the stock annual catch limit equal to the acceptable biological catch. Now this alternative represents an approximate 78% reduction to the stock annual catch limit for the year 2023 relative to the no action alternative or the current stock annual catch limit. 
Now it's also important to note that the numbers on this table are not directly comparable to the no action alternative because these numbers have been updated into MRIP FES currency, whereas the no action alternative maintains the MRIP CHTS or the old recreational data collection currency. Alternative three would revise the sector allocations using MRIP FES adjusted average landings for the years 1981 through 2004. The resulting allocations would be 84% recreational and 16% commercial. This would also revise the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch based on the SSC's recommendations, and it would set the stock annual catch limit equal to the acceptable biological catch. Now this alternative represents approximately a 79% reduction to the stock annual catch limit for the year 2023 relative to the current stock annual catch limit. And again, the numbers in this table are not directly comparable to the uh, no action alternative because these numbers are in MRIP FES, whereas the no action are in MRIP CHTS. Alternative four would revise sector allocations using MRIP FES adjusted landings during 1993 to 2007. The resulting allocations would be 78% recreational and 22% commercial. And this alternative would also revise the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch based on the Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee's recommendations and set the annual catch limit equal to the acceptable biological catch. Now this alternative represents approximately a 78% reduction to the stock annual catch limit for 2023 relative to the current stock annual catch limit. And again, the numbers in this table are not directly comparable to our current catch limits or the no action alternative because these numbers are in MRIP FES data currency. And finally, alternative five would revise sector allocation using MRIP FES adjusted average landings during the time series of 1993 through 2019. The resulting allocations would be 80% recreational and 20% commercial. And we would also revise the overfishing limit and acceptable biological catch based on the council's scientific and statistical committee recommendations, and then set the stock annual catch limit equal to the acceptable biological catch. This alternative represents approximately a 79% reduction to the stock annual catch limit for the year 2023 uh, as relative to the current stock annual catch limit. And again, the numbers in this table are expressed in MRIP FES data currency. So next we move to action two, which considers modifying greater amberjack annual catch targets. So annual catch targets are catch targets that are set lower than the annual catch limit to account for management uncertainty. Annual catch targets reduce the likelihood that the annual catch limits will be exceeded and that accountability measures are triggered. Currently, there is a 13% commercial buffer and a 17% recreational buffer between annual catch limits and annual catch targets. Those buffers are set using the council's annual catch limit, annual catch target control rule. For both sectors, the annual catch target is used to project in-season closures. And I want you to note that landings used to calculate the annual catch targets are available through 2020. However, those landings from the year 2020 might not be representative because COVID-19 changed the way that people fished and it also changed sampling protocols. So we have three alternatives to consider here. The first is the no action alternative and that keeps the current 17% recreational, 13% commercial buffer. Alternative two would apply the council's ACL ACT control rule for the most recent time series of 2017 through 2020, resulting in a 13% recreational buffer and a 7% commercial buffer. And then finally, alternative three, which is the council's preferred alternative, would apply the ACL ACT control rule using the years 2016 through 2019, so excluding that 2020 year, and revise the buffer between the annual catch limit and annual catch target so that there is a 17% recreational buffer and then a 7% commercial buffer. So the council plans to take final action on this document during its October meeting, 
We would like to hear your comments before taking final action. So please submit your comments online by following this link or simply email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and send us your thoughts.